Hello, this is Mrs. Bobby, and today we are going to be adding and subtracting fractions with common and uncommon denominators. Now, we're going to be very basic today just to get you to remember what, um, the, what they are like. So here we go. We do like 5 tenths plus 1 third. So we look at this and we have to get a common denominator. Like we can't go 6 and 13. That doesn't make sense. How do we get from a 3 and a 10 to have something in common? If we count by 3s, we can't land on 10. I always check that first. We can't go 3, 6, 9, 10. It doesn't work. But I can look at these and I could say 10, 20, 3 is not going into 20, 30. If I multiply the two bottoms, I get 30. So that's at least a starting point. 10 goes to 30 by 3. We times the numerator by 3, we get 15. 3 goes to 30 by 10. We do it to the top of it, we get 10. And now we have common denominators. So now we just add the numerator. So we have 15 plus 10 is 25 thirtieths. And we can reduce this less than the other day. We can at least reduce it by 5. We can count by 5s to get there. 5 goes into 25 5 times, and 5 goes into 36 times. So then our final reduced answer is 5 6. So if we have, let's say, 7 8, and then we have 2 4 and we want to subtract these. First thing I ask myself, can the smaller denominator become the bigger denominator? Can I count by 4s and land on 8? So let's see, 4, 8, yes. So we're going to use 8. 8 did not change, so we just bring this over. It's like multiplying by a 1. Okay, so it's like times 1. I don't know if you can see that a little better, times 1. And 4 goes to 8 by times thing by 2, times the numerator by 2. We get 4. we got to subtract. So 7 subtract 4 gives us 3 eighths, and this is already simplified. So that's how we do that. So we get common denominator. Now, you'll have more space underneath your paper, but instead of moving mine, I'm just going to get rid of our first example. So now remember, I can always get rid of it. You're not going to erase it. You're just going to add this next problem to where we were. So let's say we have 5 sevenths plus 1 half. So I look at those two denominators and I say, well, I can't count by twos to land on 7. So I maybe can multiply the two together. So we're going to get 14. 2 goes to 14 by 7, do it to its top. 7 goes to 14 by 2, do it to its top. And if we're adding here, 10 plus 7 is 17 fourteenths. We cannot leave this because this is an improper fraction. So this is a few days ago's lesson. How many 14s go into 17? That would be a big one. Leftovers, 3 out of 14. Or we can look at it as 17s on the inside of the division box, 14s on the out, 14 goes in one time, makes 14, subtract, we get 3, 1 and 3 fourteenths, 1, 3 fourteenths, just like here. Okay, so if we're improper fraction, we have to fix it. If it's already simplified, we leave it as is. And then the original one we had had to be simplified. So that works out. You do what you got to do to get these fractions correct. And as always, this is Mrs. Bobby. And I love math. And DC. Thank you.